Okay, so here's the lowdown. Ten Pin Alley was released on the PlayStation in 96, Saturn in 97, and PC in 98. There was a sequel which was released on the Wii and Game Boy Advance, which was largely ignored. No effort has gone into the menu presentation. There's not even sound in the start menu, which is both eerie and somewhat accurate on the rest of what we're about to experience. The in-game menus are this bright blue, which might fit into the theme, but they need a new theme. Something less hard on the eyes. However, the speed and swing bars look pretty good. Graphics are not good. That being said, they're not that bad as the lanes have some shine to them, which is nice. But due to the limited amount of animation, which was okay, and the few glitches I experienced, I expected a little better. The texturing and collision detection was okay as well, but the colours of the borders were pretty ugly. Sound is pretty bad when all you get is this cliched as hell bowling music in parts, which happens infrequently, and when you don't get that, you get no sound at all. The sound effects are pretty good with the ball being rolled down the lane, but the sound choice was absolutely bewildering. It says in the manual that there's 5 million realistic pin combinations, but the only one I could find was the gutter every time. I even followed the manual. This shouldn't be called Carter's retro reviews, it should be called Carter's failures as a human being. <laughs> I still like that joke. I hit the right sections of the gauges and switched hands, and the only thing I could muster up was a strike a few times which I completely fluked. Even though the use of the controls was limited, they did feel a bit stiff and didn't fill me with confidence. Replayability is present with three modes, open play, team play and tournament, so there's a bit to get through. Would I recommend this game? Nope. While I understand that I'm the problem here, it also suffers from other problems like inconsistency in graphics and sound. 